with this build, <clears throat> I'm gonna be putting the bar top. So this is your main, it's, I got it secured inside. It's well with that one. But this is your main bar top opening, your main serving area. And then this will open up horizontally and you can put a menu or whatever on it. Um, so with this, I actually want the bar to go all the way, you know, almost six foot. So, but it's not gonna be quite six foot. You want it to be a little bit shorter. I'm gonna call it 67 inches, just cause if it sticks out too far past these doors, then it looks uh, a little odd. So I want it a little bit, sh a little bit shorter than the door to door in the end. And um, I'm also gonna be using one by 12 lumber here. All right, some pine, one by 12, uh, knotty pine, so it will match the other wood. Um, and then, so with the one by 12, the reason why I'm going with that, um, in the past I've done two by 12s, which is actually, you know, this thick. And while it looks beefy and it looks cool, um, they're very expensive, okay, to get a two by 12 and get it the size that you want. Um, so, and it is overkill. I will tell you that it is overkill. And I think the one by 12 will look really good by the time I get done with it. So I'll show you the one by 12 I'm gonna use. So this is the one by 12. It's got it at Lowe's, you know, so. I'm gonna be going 67 inches. So I've got a little bit, you know, I got about five inches to spare. So, you know, with these boards, they're rough cut on each end. So I'm gonna make a nice new cut on one end, measure 67 inches and make a cut on the other end um, with my circular saw. And then also, what I'll, something I want to show you, so, is I'm going to be rounding these corners of the bar. The outside corners of the bar, I'm going to be rounding them, and I'll show you an awesome trick to getting that rounded, okay? All right, all the tools and everything, I'll put links in the description. I don't want this to go too deep because I don't want it to cut into my board underneath. Um, that's fine. I'll be sure to move... Typically, I tell you what, man, typically I try to clean as I go and I've been doing this around Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays and there's, our family has two birthdays between there and an anniversary and it's just a whole lot going on. So unfortunately, this is what I'm dealing with as I've got kind of stacked up here. Anyway, so I'm going to make a fresh cut here. Just use my guide on my circular saw um, to make a nice fresh cut. All right, see that? I don't know if you can see this. That is much smoother than that. Okay, hopefully that zoomed in there. So, now that I got my fresh cut, and I'll go, let me find my pencil. Now I'll go 67 inches. There's 67. I found my square. So I'm gonna go 67. Be sure you're getting tight and getting even. All right. because it's 2 by 12 my square doesn't go all the way across. Right, so now chop that off. Okay. 
done with that. So let's do a dry fit and see how that looks. Here's a dry fit. So this is how far my bar top is going to go on my trailer. I like the look of that. I like it. So if you remember I told you a second ago I was going to show you an easy way to round the corners. Make a template. Okay. You're gonna if you build one of these or do any sort of project like this, you're gonna have a spray paint can or a WD-40 can or something laying around. Take that lid. What you're gonna do is put that lid right there in that corner and use that. Use that lid as a template. There we go. It does not have to be perfect. I don't think that it does. Alright, there's that. So, now I'll get, take my jigsaw and I'll cut those corners and show you. So here's my that's what my corner, that's what it did. It gave me a nice rounded edge there, all right? And the same on both ends. I'm gonna take my jigsaw, be sure it's not gonna go too deep. Nope, oh, it'll be good. And then, let me see. Smooth cut, yep, all right, we're good. And then, what you're gonna do, take your battery and put it in your sander. This little sander, I'll tell you what, is a workhorse. So, show you what we start off with, a close-up of it. Also, you can see, see what I'm talking about? See that, how rough how rough that cut is? As opposed to that, it's just so much smoother. All right, so you can see my jigsaw blade kind of torques and does whatever, but that's where the sander comes in. And this kind of Sander, sand is sometimes a little bit more art than science, but you'll see what I mean. Now I want you to look at this now. Remember I showed you I showed you how that how that blade and kind of torch and everything. Oh come on, focus. Look at that. See that? Perfectly rounded. I mean perfectly, but you know, perfect to my standards. And then I can also sand down that edge. Then on this edge, I can also add a slight bevel to this top, which will make it look even more luxurious. So, and then don't worry about like pencil marks and stuff like that. A quick hit with that sander takes that stuff right off. So I'll do the other end and then we'll get it stained and then I'll get it put on. All right, so the, here's the bar top installed. So remember, I stained it all. The good stain matches all the rest of the wood. And this is a one by 12. And see, I got the carriage bolts up here cinched down. So we got three sets of carriage bolts. And we got the acorn nuts underneath to match. And we have a good clean look on all the supports. And as a look at the, you know, the rounded corners put a nice finish on it but that's the that's the look of the bar top
finished.